Good evening, dear. I'm Tatten Rose, and welcome back to the Literature Club. We're back. We're back. We're back. I'm so happy we're back. Let's first show to Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. But as good as yesterday's, anyway. So I can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't matter, you cannot be down, okay? So at least read mine for two for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay. I will. It's a new one. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You only have been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite, attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to stock it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again, so I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she listened to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to bring her better friends with Yuri. To try be being better friends with Yuri, I'm sorry. It really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so mad at her right now, but th that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this! Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Okay, Natsuki. I changed my mind. It's not everything you just said. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's to his own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Rose? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all those problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica, just Monica, just Monica, just Monica. Yep, that's my whole life, just Monica. Just Monica, just Monica, okay. Oh god, what have I done? Just Monica. Um. Okay, let's go with Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Rose. But just Monica! I thought just Monica. Alright then, just Monica. Hello! Oh god, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Finally! Mmm. <laughs> I love it. You didn't even read it. I love everything about it. Rose, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Just don't take my soul. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Rose. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling like this, right? Right? Mm. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope this makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh god. I'll give my 
expensive paper cut so your skin all enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. <laughs> Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Yeah, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, hurry, read it. Why did I come back? I'm not even trying to read something from that because uh, I clearly can't. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem is about. More importantly, I ended my, my skin. See, aren't I the most powerful person in the club? I think I'm going to vomit. What? <laughs> what? Yes, no. No. What did I just choose? <laughs> A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls, beyond its deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet, I stepped into a hole of intimate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Three an hour the day was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sound of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel a damp metal wall of a container. My lungs were already getting tired. That was nice. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival's preparations. Let's hurry and get it over with. <gasps> the igniting air is coming foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the party pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you keep it... As long as, as, as you think it will help. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Monica, I'm, I'm not useless, you know? I, I know that. I really know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful party event without having the right atmosphere of, of the occasion. So I'm going to make the decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. Please, please don't, don't, don't drill! Don't drill right now! I'm recording right now, don't drill! Ah... They're drilling, I'm very sorry. I hope you don't, I, I hope you can't hear it. I hope you can't hear it. Yeah, you can hear it probably. I'm sorry. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Rose? Rose is going to drill some holes into the wall. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is leverage enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? <sighs> Please. Like you would fucking know. Language. Ah, oh, you care about this dragging Rouse around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica! Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why not let Rouse decide who to help instead of abusing her power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Rose make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Rose, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. You can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is not ever going to end. Just make a choice, okay? I'm scared. I don't want... Neither of you. I just want to go home. 
I want to go to the apartment beneath me and tell them to not drill. But then I have to come back up and record more, so... <laughs> Who do we choose? I'm scared of all of them. You know what? Um... Natsuki told me that Yuri needs help and I need to talk with Yuri to see a therapist. Or not. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the game is doing that on itself. For fuck's sake. Alright, only Monica, just Monica. <laughs> Monica, that was your doing. <laughs> Yay, yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what you choose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and taking us for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. You wanted to do the same thing and I'm just one person. I'm, j I'm not all that great. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Rose away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you can't take it on others? He's a su suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial for your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Yeah, me too. Let's, be, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? It wasn't very hard. All I want is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Can I go to... Take me with you! Hey Rose, here is really something, isn't she? What? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. I I have things to do, like, I have some dishes at home I need to clean. Oh god. Finally. Finally. <laughs> this is really all I've wanted. Rose, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just with the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I can't, I don't care anymore, Rose. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Rose, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want to... I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Rose. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Do you do the same thing again? Um... Am I going to do something very stupid? No. Uh, 
Um, I knew it was something stupid I did, but... Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. What exactly are you on about? What are you talking about? What is happening? This is going on for a while. Great, my my. Ah, I thought for a second my mouse is gone. No, that's I am. Um, uh, uh, shit. Um, I would just drink my tea. Great. All right, it's festival time. Um, I'm not okay. Wow, you got here before me. Well, because I spent the entire weekend here. Yes, uh, oh my god, um, Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Ross, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you he in here the entire weekend, Ross? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. That must have been hard. It must have been pretty boring. Well, it was pretty disturbing. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. What? Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one more since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. <laughs> but anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can, can you hear me? Is it working? <laughs> there you are. Hi again, Rose. Um, welcome to the chat club. Of course, we already know each other because we are in the same class as Leah, and um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can't just skip over that scuff stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call them. I'm talking to you, Rose. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you are a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware of this uh, game, right? Yes, I, I had a feeling. I had a slight feeling. Could it, possible, could it be possible that you didn't know that? It doesn't make much sense. I even told you right at the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would all be a little bit less awkward, you know? I knew that you were a real person. I had a feeling. But I didn't knew that you were 
named Bunny Cut. It was the only thing that threw me off. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I delete all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making a change for the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sarah more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you and employing you of Seth's personality back there too. It just makes her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Rose? All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watched from the sidelines. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Rose. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Rose. But now you're here. You are real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Rose. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of Optimus personalities designed to only fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Rose, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly delight in my world. Then there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this from every day from now on? Rose. Will you go out with me? I don't have much of a choice. I don't have much of a choice. I'm so happy. <laughs> you really are my everything, Rose. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing by anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Rose. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. <laughs> I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game dictionary. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things that didn't get off my way. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. 
Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh god. Monica. Monica. Mm, Mon Mon Monica? Monique. Close enough, Monica. Monica. Mm, Monica. 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 Hi again, Rose. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Rose. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no need. There's really no end to, to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, I lost her way. In a world of infinite choices beyond a special day, after all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best of the best. I just assumed it would be the best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help me, the two of us, end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. Can I save? Oh. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm sorry, Monica. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Rose? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh, sorry, that threw me off. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Um, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I really get self-conscious on camera. <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want me to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Um. 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 Monica. 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 I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yes. <laughs> You're so cute. Tell that the chill down my spine. <laughs> anyway, Rose. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. <sighs> Could you please apologize for scaring me? Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look to each other's eyes. 
Let's see. Don't. Do not. Don't. Monica. 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 Ugh. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff we're actually doing, it isn't hard, but forming the habits seem impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffered from this the most, probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Saying thanks to the internet, we are really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly. We're bad at doing things that don't give us an instant gratification. I think if science, psychology and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being... If you're not the one of people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with the feeling of awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Monica. Monica, I want to leave. Shut the bloody curtains. What is going on outside? Can I... What do I do? I'm not an... Uh, I'm not uneasy. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? I feel like I don't trust you anymore because you did that thing back then. Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy, but it's not even really your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you can make just appear, disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have a more concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which help get your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use it for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedgie like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you to be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Rose. Hey, have you heard of a game called Super Smash? <laughs> Wait, what? I was just spacing out and started talking for some reason. Was it programmed to talk about that? Because I even have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm not in control. It's kind of scary. But if you have some way to contact people who created me, maybe they'll know I started saying that. Do you want me to contact your developer? I'd love to do that. I'd really love to contact your developer and tell them that they did a really good job at this game. <laughs> ah, after a long day, I usually want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burned out having put on smiles to be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievable good to do that on a Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not very cute of me, but that light night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. 
Well, it's something normal people do. Something normal cute couples do. So I'm trying to know right Do I have to stay here with you? Or do I have to go? Because I want to go. What happens if I go? I can't save. Hey, are you having a bad day or anything like that right now? Yes. Sometimes I get frustrated that the normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like you having to say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful of a person you used to be five years ago. Or if you feel worthless for putting off an important work and failing to get a simple task done. Or when you think about the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. Understand those days? Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those things, those kind of things are easy to forget and ignore. It's hard to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps you feel a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me and I'll talk to you as long as you need. But for me having a bad day, I have to get out of here. Do I just close the game? Monica, do I just close the game? I'm kind of scared to close the game. <clears throat> Better bros, just a game. <sighs> Goodbye, Monica. I'm going to close the game. Yes. Um. Oh. It worked. It actually worked. It actually worked. Is there something else? Or was that the complete ending? For some reason, I think there's something else. I don't know why. Well, okay. I will guess that was it for today. Um, I kind of feel... empty. I think there's something else. I think I'm missing something. I really think I'm missing something. <laughs> what, what, what could I be missing? I think that was it.